Hello guys and welcome again. So this is by the way the third installment of the present value series. So if you did not yet watch the previous two episodes, please watch them first before you watch this video. So their links are on the description below. And if you already did that, then let's begin. So, assuming that you have already watched the previous episodes, then I'll go straight to the point. So this video is meant to solve this 1 minus 1.12 raised to the power of negative 3 over 0.12 using the scientific and the basic calculator. So if you watched the previous episode, you will know that this comes from the present value of 1 ordinary annuity formula, which is to remind you that is 1 minus 1 plus i raised to the power of negative n, where i is the effective interest rate per period, which is 0.12 here, and the n is the maturity period, which is this 3 or 3 years. So of course, this is coming from the illustrative problem that was introduced in the previous episode. And, of course, we already have the answer here, 2.40183 which is already rounded off to the nearest five decimal places, meaning this factor is supposed to be longer than this. But even if we already have the answer, I still need to demonstrate how to get this using the scientific and the basic calculator. So are you ready? I assume yes. So let's start with the scientific calculator. So, if you want to get the ordinary annuity factor, just type the numerator first. That's the first step in the calculator, which is 1 minus, open parenthesis, 1.12 raised to the power of negative 3, and then close parenthesis. So, let's ignore this denominator first, okay? And after that, step 2, hit the equals button, and you will get this. And step 3, Press the ANS or ANSWER button, which is this one, and divide it by 0.12. And press again the equals button, and you will get this, which is already the factor that we are looking for. Although, this here has not been rounded off to the nearest five decimal places. So, that's how you get the present value of one ordinary annuity factor using the scientific calculators. Now, Let's go to the using of the basic calculators, okay? So the first thing that you should do is to focus on this 1 plus i raised to the power of negative n first. So you need to ignore this 1 minus here and the denominator, okay? So let's get this 1.12 raised to the power of negative 3 first. So step 1, type in 1.12. Again, this is done to input the 1 plus effective interest rate per period. And then step 2, press the divide button twice. And again, this is done to let the calculator know that you are computing for the present value. And step 3 is hit the equals button three times. And if you can still remember, this is done in order to enter the number of periods or the n, which is in our illustrative example, that's three years. So we are going to hit the equals button three times. So on your first press, the result will be this. And on your second press, you will have this. And on the third, you will get this. So this is already the result of the 1 plus i raised to the power of negative n. Okay? Now, you have two options. First option, you can write this factor in the paper. And then later on, you can press 1 minus this to get the whole numerator here, which will be time-consuming if I'm going to be honest, because the writing of this in the paper takes a lot of time and effort. Or you can have the option 2. You can do what I do, which is this one here will be deducted by 1 immediately. So what will happen? So, what will happen is the answer will be negative and it is to be expected. Why? Because what we did is 1 plus i raised to the power of negative n minus 1 
instead of 1 minus 1 plus i raised to the power of negative n here. So, do we have to worry? No, because we can still make this numerator happen, this one. How? That's step 5. And step 5 is just press the plus or minus button, which is this one, to make it positive. And by doing that, what you did here will be transformed to this one, which is the right one. Okay? Now, the last step is just to divide this by the interest rate, which is 12% or 0.12 in this case. And you will already get the 2.4018312688, which is the present value of one ordinary annuity factor that we are trying to get. So, that's it for this episode. If you learned, please click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated on my next videos. And see you on the next one. Thank you.